Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Chart of Accounts lists all accounts in your company file. To open the Chart of Accounts in QuickBooks Online, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading. The accounts in the Chart of Accounts are ordered by account type as follows. First Assets, then Liabilities, then Equity, then Income, then Expenses, then Other Income and Expenses, and finally Non-Posting Accounts. To show the accounts the first time you open the Chart of Accounts page, click the See Your Chart of Accounts button that appears. In the Chart of Accounts list, each account appears in a separate row. Information about the account appears in the columns. There are columns for the account's name, type, detail type, QuickBooks balance, bank balance, and an action column. If account numbering is enabled, you will also see a number column. To perform actions on an account in the chart of accounts, click or select an action in the action column. Available actions include the view register or run report command, the connect bank command, and the edit and make inactive commands. The view register command only appears for balance sheet accounts like asset liability and equity accounts. All other accounts show the run report command instead. The connect bank command only appears for bank account types. To filter which accounts to show in the chart of accounts by either account name or number, use the filter by name or number field in the upper left corner of the page. To view the number column if needed, click the Settings Gear button in the upper right corner above the account list and check the Number checkbox under the Columns heading in the drop down menu that appears. To open the associated Account Register or Account Report for an account, click or select the View Register or Run Report command in the Action column. To inactivate an account, click the drop down arrow in the action column and select the Make Inactive link to open a pop up window where you must then confirm you want to inactivate the account. To edit an account, click the drop down arrow under its action column and select the Edit command to open an Edit Account pane at the right side of the window where you can edit the account information and then click the Save button to save the changes and close the pane. To open a report on the accounts in the chart of accounts, which you can customize, click the Run Report button at the top of the chart of accounts page. To create new accounts or import accounts, use the New Dropdown button to the right of the Run Report button. In the upper right corner, above the list, are three buttons. From left to right, these are the Batch Edit, Print List, and Settings buttons. To open a page where you can edit multiple accounts at once to add account numbers or change account names, click the Batch Edit button. If you make changes in this page you want to save, Click the Save button in its upper right corner to save the batch changes. To open a web page that contains a printer-friendly list of the chart of accounts and also open your web browser's print dialog box, click the Print List button. You can close this page after printing or viewing it. To show a drop-down menu that lets you change settings that control the way the chart of accounts appears, click the Settings button. To show or hide columns in the chart of accounts, check or uncheck the names of the columns under the Columns heading in the drop-down menu. To show inactive accounts, check the Include Inactive checkbox under the other heading in the drop-down menu. To change the number of accounts shown per page within the chart of accounts, 
click the rows drop down in the drop down menu to show another drop down menu and then select the number of account rows to display per page within the chart of accounts from that drop down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.